The human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, gradually destroys the body's immune system. Despite advances in treatment, HIV prevalence continues to grow at an alarming rate around the globe. Here at NCI, senior investigators of the vaccine branch, part of the Center for Cancer Research, have been focusing on various approaches to develop a potentially effective HIV vaccine. So the way in which this actually came about was really, it was a true example, I think, of uh, a collaboration between the government and a private institution, which was a, go a company. At that time it was called Pasteur Aventis, now it's called uh, Sanofi Pasteur. Basically what we did is we started first using uh, one animal model, which was a non-pathogenic HIV-2 model using macaques. And in that model, uh, you know, we, we saw very early on that this vaccine could protect from infection. In the meantime, though, the data that we had generated in macaques led to, the fa to several phase one and phase two trial, and then to the phase three trial in Thailand. In the case of HIV, I think because the virus continuously changes, plus different viruses from the different strains can recombine, so you have recombinant viruses. I think you need the monitoring in the country where you're going and make specific vaccines for those countries. My dream would be to have a vaccine that protects 70% of them and to have a fantastic program of education, particularly for younger people, really to not only to make them understand exactly the risk that they have, but also to provide the tools that they can have to eliminate this risk. Actually, HIV is probably encountered in every, in every population. Um, some areas of the world there's very high prevalence, as in Africa. It's in heterosexuals, also homosexuals, um, women. Women are a big population that is infected with HIV, as are children. So it's everywhere. It's really everywhere. We're, I think, one of the very few groups using a replicating um, vector as a platform for vaccine. The advantage of the replicating vector is, um, well, we think it will mimic a live attenuated virus, which um, live attenuated viral vaccines have, have historically been the most protective. You can think of smallpox or polio. Those kind of vaccines give lifelong protection, essentially. I think this approach really deserves to be tested. It elicits cellular immune responses, mucosal immunity, antibody responses. It has, it, it does everything I think that we want a vaccine to do. So we're working with the Division of AIDS, NIAID. They are making a um, clinical grade vaccine for us. And this will be tested in a phase one trial. So just initial, initial safety and immunogenicity and then hopefully We'll proceed further.